What's going on in England right now is a national tragedy, if you ask me. Um, it's also a possible national disaster um, in that uh, I don't really see anyone winning in this nasty situation. Um, while I see it as a purely British internal matter, and it's not my place to pontificate or pass judgment upon the uh, English people for this, uh, you know what, I do say English, but uh, as far as I know, it hasn't spread to Scotland and Wales or elsewhere in the UK. Um, what I will say is this. Um, however much I sympathize with the underclass of any society, I live in a city that has a obvious and seriously submerged underclass. I have to say that I do not uh, support, condone, or uh, advocate any sort of violence uh, in any way at all as a means of social change, even as a means of expressing one's rage. I've taken other people, um, the what I call the angry white male lobby in this uh, world to task on the issue of anger, where I say that anger is only making things worse. And I'll say the same thing to any underclass that actually thinks that it has something to gain by taking violently to the streets to damage property or uh, take on the bullies in the uh, riot gear. I, I don't really have a huge amount of sympathy for out-of-control cops either. Um, but one thing that I will say that is probably the most damaging thing of all of this I resent the fact, the implication when things like this happen, and if they were to happen in my country, in my city, I would seriously resent the fact that I was being put in a position where I have to choose between rioters who are uh, damaging property, um, killing people possibly, uh, creating complete uh, mayhem in the streets, and, as I say, the riot squad. I don't want to have to choose between those two polarities, but essentially when you do things like this, that's what you're forcing people to choose. I know what most of the public is going to choose uh, when, when offered um, that kind of uh, fork in the road. Do I support uh, rioting uh, uh, looters or do I support the forces of law and order? I know who the public is going to support. Um, and I know ultimately that taking to the streets in this manner is completely self-defeating and counterproductive and will bring you exactly the opposite results of what you may think you have to gain by some sort of show of force against the authorities or against society at large. It just doesn't work. Violence, to quote somebody who was on the internet a while back, can't remember his name, violence is never the answer. Thank you. And uh, take heart, England. You've been through worse, worse scrapes before. Thank you.